clear here, you, you don't think that there is a moral issue in getting people health care when they cannot afford it in the open market? Sure when they there is. Sure there is. Yeah, but you, you've got your heart and you have to also use your brain. How do you distribute this good to the most people and get them the most benefit? And my argument would be that government is inherently inept at doing most things because government doesn't get the proper signals. What I would say is that the marketplace works very well. Capitalism has not been tried yet in health care. Most of health care is government fixed prices and there's very little capitalism. In fact, I'm a physician. In my practice, about 3% of my practice was capitalism. Those are the people who came in with high deductibles or paid cash. That marketplace worked because we did bid down prices on things that people came in and paid for. I was wondering if Senator Paul took Medicare, Medicaid payments when he was a doctor, if he took government payments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't be a physician in our country without participating with the government. That's the system we live under. Yep. You know, uh, Senator, it's so fascinating. You look at, you talk about health care reform. You look at a place like the Cleveland Clinic where results are rewarded instead of procedures being rewarded. And the question is how we expand that nationwide. This, this government, this country spends more money on health care per person than any other country in the world, and we have one of the more inefficient systems because you're exactly right. Market forces don't drive this system. It's just like education. We spend more money per pupil than any country in the world, and yet look where we are when it comes to K through 12. We've got to figure out a way to be much more efficient in health care, how to be much more efficient uh, in public education because the systems that we're using are broken. Uh, the book is called Government Bullies, How Everyday Americans Are Being Harassed, Abused, and Imprisoned by the Feds. Senator Rand Paul, thanks for being with us. Good luck with the book, and say hi to your dad. Tell him I voted for him. Thanks, Joe. All right.